I am honored to be among you at this conference dedicated for further development of startups and uh, innovation ecosystem with good topics of panel discussions and sharing experience of Finland on creative industry and its positive impact to the economy of Finland, as well as on the importance of supporting startups and how we can further develop our Kosovo innovation and ecosystem as a driver for economic growth in our country and offer more space and opportunities for our talented young people who are the most valuable resource, again I stress, for economic development and integration of our country. So I thank for your cooperation and participation in this event, dear Ambassador Nissinen, Ms. Vjolsa and all present here, and Croatian friends who are with us today, all other uh, development cooperation partners with us. Thank you so much for your interest to further reflect in this topic, which is the most important for the country of Kosovo. As we all know that taking into consideration of other countries, innovation entrepreneurship is the driver for economic transformation and the way we want to live in further and future years. <clears throat> Kosovo is also focused on innovation, digitalization, and the promotion and the creation of enterprise of new such as startups and or innovative SMEs, as young people have always been considered the driving force of the future of any economy. This is precisely what favors us as a country, because it is the young age that characterizes us, where the average age, age is around 30 years old, up to 70% of the population of our country, which means this occupies first place in Europe for the youngest population. This element is also a key factor for the development of youth-focused policies, the promotion of business startups by young people, such as startups as any other innovative initiative that leads to the development of an enabling and supporting ecosystem for them. Given that Kosovo is a country that aspires to join the European Union, the development of instruments and policies to promote innova innovation, especially among young people, are very important for the development of innovation in the country, increasing the level of employment among uh, them and as well as economic growth of the country. As a priority of the government of Republic of Kosovo as, uh, and as one of the objectives of the Ministry of Industry, Entrepreneurship and Trade, we have managed to draft clear public policies for the support, encouragement and promotion of innovation in, the, in entrepreneurship. We have already finalized with the drafting law for innovation entrepreneurship, the law for fund for innovation and the Finnish experts came in the right time to reflect how best to integrate these two laws into the new agency for uh, enterprise support that will have the focus on innovation, entrepreneurship, on industry parks, techno parks development, on tourism and as well as on uh, increasing uh, export, uh, uh, export potential of the country, developing first and then increasing the export. The government of Kosovo and our ministry has supported and continues to support it with legal norms, grant programs, international presentations and creation of space for development and most, as most aggressive of the technological sector as a trump card with a lot of weight for the overall economic rise of our state. We have already allocated 6 million euro to innovation uh, training park in uh, prison with uh, 40 hectares, which is bringing more space for our youth of Kosovo in purpose to establish and develop the innovation ecosystem. They have all worked very hard uh, to bring together Finnish and Kosovo experts. We are very happy about that. Companies, stakeholders, as well as especially students uh, to advance cooperation and share ideas among one another. We are very happy about that and very happy to see all of you here. We do hope that one outcome of this conference uh, will mean more cooperation between our institutions and companies uh, between our two countries. Um, I would like to really thank Minister Haidari for, for the continuous cooperation and support uh, between our two countries. It's very highly highly appreciated. One priority of our embassy here in Pristina 
is the youth of Kosovo, and this makes me particularly happy to be here this, this morning. We do consider youth, the young people of the society, as the biggest strength for the future, as the minister was also highlighting. You, you are the future, you are the future leaders and, and, and company representatives of the country, so, so we do like to cooperate with you very closely. When it comes to Finland, we, we Finns, we have always been fascinated with uh, digitalization. Uh, I, I think many people are aware of that. And digital industries and the process of digitalization is, is probably the biggest growth sector in, in our country, Finland. We believe that it, it can help companies to be more profitable at lower costs. Uh, while it can help public institutions improve services also at lower costs. Efficiency is a key benefit in this sense. Uh, but it can also boost innovation and creativity. A simple example of digitalization is, uh, is, is quite, quite interesting, at least in my opinion, is taking a library's uh, catalog and putting it online. Now a library patron can search for books at home, reserve them and even have them delivered. This makes uh, finding books simpler and faster while freeing up library staff for other uh, tasks. Uh, and Finland takes simple steps such as these as well as, as more dramatic leaps. I, I think many people know and remember a company called Nokia and, and the history of Nokia is, is one reason why Finland is really a global forerunner in digitalization today. In the 1990s already, uh, public decision makers enacted rules to encourage uh, digitalization while educational institutions prioritized the skills needed for a global digital company. When I was a kid, I dreamed about being a professor, you know, one day, and being in front of this amphitheater full of students. It was a nice dream, though. I didn't like this one here. I would like to have it here, you know, like being up there and talking to you. Nevertheless, it's good enough for today. Uh, dear, uh, uh, Minister Haidari, dear Ambassador Nissen, and dear Dean Shabani, dear distinguished guest from Finland, dear uh, startups, companies, students, professors of the university, I am very pleased to be here with you today. I am representing the Kosovo ICT Association, which I believe uh, was and it is still the driver, one of the drivers of ICT development in Kosovo. And it started 15 years ago by a small dream, you know, let's start doing something, let's do some, you know, connections, start exporting a few services here and there, more like uh, call centers. Nevertheless, it was the beginning. And nowadays we have developed so much that almost 90% of the Kosovo companies are exporting their services and also products in recent days. This is really amazing and I am receiving the information from the universities as well, public and private, that the number is growing every day. Which is, which, what is more important, the number of females or women studying is growing very rapidly and it's bigger than men. The University of uh, Pristina is oldest and uh, the largest public uh, institute uh, of higher education in Kosovo, which consists of 14 academic units, uh, more than 2,700 students. The Faculty of uh, Electrical and uh, Computer Engineering uh, is an po integral part of the University of Pristina, and uh, currently about uh, 2,000 students uh, are studying in all levels in our faculty. Our faculty vision 
is uh, oriented toward the national and national model of contemporary and innovative faculty with uh, integrated teaching, whereby practice complements theory and uh, uh, professional uh, uh, and research skills to develop for the benefit of society. Our faculty has uh, six departments, Department of Computer Engineering, Department of Telecommunication, Department of Automation and Robotics, Department of Power Systems, Department of Electronics, and uh, Department for General Subjects. So, a little bit to, to understand who we have in the audience, and as only comes from the gaming industry, so uh, how many of you have played any software game ever? Okay, yeah, okay. And then, uh, how, uh, how, how many of you have been developing or programming some software game ever? I did something with the computer, uh, the Commodore 64, if that is still counted, long, long time ago. Okay, so only now you know a bit of, of the audience. Floor is yours. Thank you.